What's up y'all, it's your girl on Casual TTV and I'm back with another video. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Taniqua. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys the Morphe Foundation and Concealer. And I'm gonna let you know my honest opinion on it. I left it in a box so that I could show you guys. For starters, I do not like how the packaging is. It shows orange and the foundation is a completely different color. So I do not like that part. Try to swatch the um, foundation and concealer while you're in the store because the box is completely wrong. So here's the two side by side. Hopefully they don't look exactly alike. Now this was the closest thing to my color. The closest thing. So hopefully it looks good. Um... I could probably use a brush on one side, but you know what? We're gonna stick to the to the entire sponge this whole time. Let me close this up because I don't know what that's about to um, look like. All right, now try to blend it out. As you can see, I was getting full coverage. Everything was going so well. It matched my neck perfectly with the right undertones. So, you know, I was liking it. And it smelled like the, it was a soft smell. So, I was really loving it. So, like most foundations, you got to wait until it is completely dry to see what is going to be the final look. Looks like full coverage. That. You know, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face but a moisturizer. So that's bomb. So far we bomb. And it looks good in the mirror. And I don't know if... Is it just me? Or is this makeup starting to make me look like a corpse? So let's see how this look. Doesn't look like much on the um, brush, but. I was really feeling this foundation and only in the mirror. I don't know why, I feel like I'm kind of gypped. Like it's barely anything coming on a brush. I hope I'm not blocking you guys from seeing. Do I even want to put any down? You know what? I'm just going to put a little on the chin. Because I don't know how this is going to look. And a little right here. Alright, now I'm going to blend this out. This is an e.l.f. brush. It is a flawless concealer brush and I love this brush. I use this in every video. So now let's blend it. It definitely feels lightweight. And you see it, it definitely is lighter than the foundation. This is 335, 3.35. Now, no one helped me choose my shades. I got this from Ulta. And I feel like I'm pretty good at choosing um, what matches me. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna just blend it out uh, with my brush afterwards. I mean, with my sponge after. Just to get a flawless look. It gives you time to blend. I'll tell you that, it stays moist for a while. Now there's a lot of um, concealers that don't give you time. And then it won't move. But this is moving.
bring it up a little even though I'm going to um, contour this a little but just to um, make my makeup my eye makeup look really good I'm gonna bring it closer to it and just blend it out go back in with the sponge let me just use this side because I use the other side already I'm just gonna use a, the bottom of it That wasn't bad. That's not bad, y'all. All right, I'm gonna come in. See? It looks good on camera. I mean, in the mirror. So, hopefully it's looking good over there. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to take my Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna tap some into the cap. And I'm going to use my same sponge. It's like I don't want to come off like a donut. Hopefully it doesn't give me that. Okay, so I'm tapping it into the cap and I'm going to try to dust off a little bit. Okay. I don't want to leave it on too long because I don't know how this is going to make me look. Oh crap, I got it in my eyebrow. Oh crap. Alright. I'm just going to dust this off now because I, I told you I do not want to look like a donut. I don't know if it's going to give me donut effect. So let's just brush this off now. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to contour. Here's the bronzer. It's by Morphe. It's called Debutante. Debutante. All right, now I am going to take my my brush, tap it all in there, take some off, and I'm gonna do my cheeks. So this creates more of a shadow effect rather than contour, which just slims down. I think I should have used something which gave like a dewy base so that this won't look so matte because this is looking matte matte like snow dry matte.
what sucks so much about this is I was really feeling myself in the mirror, but it does not look like that on camera. For anyone with really, really, really oily skin, this might be the foundation for you. Because not me, I have dry skin already. So now I'm gonna take a skinny brush and I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Some Morphe does not have a blush. So I am going to use this CoverGirl True Blend and um, it just says blush. I think I went through this already with this comb. So I'm going to tap into it. The way I have the five o'clock shadow right now, like, <laughs> Yo, I cannot get over this. Like, I know my face is a little fuzzy, but this boy. making weird faces as I do this. Don't mind me though. We're just trying to get cute. And so now I'm going to take my Morphe setting spray and what is called continuous setting mist. So let's get misty. I love the smell of this thing. Now I'm going to take some highlight and I'm going to highlight and this highlighter is by Milani. And it is called Glowing Strobe Light, the number four. She's like, today I can't open anything. Something subtle, you know? this setting mist I'm not even gonna lie I feel like moist when I use this thing this foundation really is full coverage because I have a mole on the side and you can almost not see it so like I usually do I just take my um, I take my liner and put my mole back. So I'm gonna go and put my mole back and I'm gonna put some lashes on and a lip on and I'll be right back, guys. All right, so, oh, my bad. Got to fix my hair. This is cute, okay? Cute. 
Now, this foundation, I love that it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. Like, nothing is on my face. I will forget I have foundation or anything on my face with how this makeup feels. Now, I love the way this uh, concealer worked. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. So, this was $18. I got it from Ulta. And the concealer is $9. So, it's half the price. And look at me. Look at me. This popping, okay? Now, as you guys know, the the set of mist I had got it a while ago. I think it was nine, nine or ten dollars, something like that. Got it from Ulta, and I just love how the mist feels. So the this foundation and the concealer and the mist is it worked together great. It's great. Now, I did use a red sponge, which is by Morphe, so I'm going to give this five stars because I love how this looks. Like, it's so lightweight. It does not feel like I'm going to break out. It wasn't a strong um, scent. I told you it just reminds me of some type of school supply. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a soft, soft feel to it. Soft scent. Um... It doesn't seem like I'm going to get like oily. I use my more um yeah, my Laura Mercier. It's kind of cheat code. But they don't have any powder yet. So this is this is a 10. This is 5 stars. I'm loving it. Let me know if you guys like it down below and um as far as my eye look may go, I will start giving you guys looks because I have this new NYX palette and it's so spring and I love it. So, if you guys enjoy this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up because it recommends it to everybody else. And turn on your post notifications so whenever I upload, you get the notification. And drop a comment down below. Like always, I do give my notification shout out. So, see you guys in my next video. Peace out.